Okay, I, I honestly don't even know how to start this video off. I just want to say first off, my mind is completely blown. The reason being is because not too long ago, I did a video on my channel called Has Veronica's Death Been Confirmed? Now on that video, I did something that I've stated many times that I would never do and I only did it because this was something that I couldn't ignore. Now, somebody actually tweeted me a screenshot on IMDb about a one sentence episode summary of the new episode coming out early January. It had to do with Melissa inflicts a deadly injury on Veronica or something along those lines. Basically, Melissa was responsible for Veronica suffering from a deadly injury. Now, that's all the statement said. And I figured, you know what? It's not surprising because we all saw the car wreck. It's pretty obvious that Veronica, despite as Landon described, being like a cockroach, pretty much being able to survive anything, she's not coming out of that without a scratch on her. Let's just put it that way. So it didn't surprise me if she was, you know, in a coma or in the hospital over the next half of the first, you know, this upcoming season, the first half, or if, you know, I even said this a lot. In an, um, actually about two or three other videos and some people on the Veronica video I made commented this several times it wouldn't surprise anyone if Veronica's in the same vegetable like state that she threatened Melissa with remember she told Melissa if you ever do anything again to try to endanger the life of my grandchild I'll put you in almost like a comatose state where you'll be aware of everything going on around you but you won't be able to move like you know You'll be literally just sitting still, not being able to move a, an inch. And I feel like her saying that was pretty much confirmation that that would happen to her. Hannah said the same thing to Candace in terms of Candace saying, I hate you with all my heart and soul. And I hope that you burn in hell and, you know, die, die in an unmarked grave and I'll spit on it. And when she said that to Hannah, Hannah told Candace, look, by saying that, you pretty much just spoke your own death into existence. And it wouldn't surprise me because, you know, as Hannah stated, with all the enemies you made, somebody's going to kill you off. Nobody's going to know what happened to you. You're going to be buried in an unmarked grave and they'll be spitting on your grave. I feel like that's the same thing. Again, it's been done time and time again in this show where the p characters will have, I guess you could say, overarching or parallel storylines where something that happens to one person it usually happens to another person as well i feel like veronica and candace being the characters they are are pretty much speaking their own fates into existence by threatening other people so the fact that i did that video with a quote-unquote spoiler if you want to call it that in the video i even said it multiple times this is something I'm not familiar with. I know of IMDB, but I'm not well versed on the website itself. It turns out it's pretty much a Wikipedia, if you will, of internet, you know, a what IMDB internet movie database. It's pretty much just like a website dedicated to uh, actors, actresses, TV shows, movies. So people in the comments let me know that, hey, this isn't a reliable website. I believe somebody even told me like, hey, I was the one to go on there to make the summary of the uh, video um, episode itself. So again, like I said in the video, it's something that I usually don't do. I didn't know if I could trust it, which honestly I really didn't. But I just wanted to throw it out there to get the fans reaction. At the time of the recording of this particular video, that video has Veronica's death been confirmed is over 80,000 views. 80,000 views. I'm going to be honest here. Since the haves and have nots has gone on hiatus and I still made videos, my videos are, you know, maybe getting around an average of 3,000 to 4,000 hits. So anytime I hit over 5,000 during hiatus, that's a blessing due to the fact that I'm doing YouTube full time. So any views is good in my opinion. But the fact that this video is doing almost 100,000 hits, it wouldn't surprise me by the end of this month, let alone the end of 2018 this video hits over 100,000 views. So that's letting me know a couple of things. Number one, should I do spoiler videos? Honestly, I don't like spoilers. As I said before, I really like, you know, uh, theorizing. So if we, let me just put it this way. If I see more, well, if people show me more, cause again, I don't look for spoilers for this show. Here, here's what I think. If there's like a one sentence summary of an episode to me, that is technically a spoiler 
but I don't mind it so long if it's not like too revealing. Like this one sentence, Melissa causes Veronica a deadly injury. As I said in the video, it doesn't tell us much in terms of is Veronica dead? No, no, no. Deadly injury can mean that it impact, you know, like maybe she cut her head open or something like that, but she's still alive. But honestly, the biggest injury to Veronica would be the death of that grandchild. Let's just put it that way. Because I feel like deadly injury can mean that Melissa's dead or the baby's dead, meaning that Veronica's plan is foiled. Literally, that's the one thing she wanted above anything else. Aside from controlling Jeffrey, aside from making sure David didn't sleep with other women, aside from, you know, being in the spotlight, it was to have a grandchild. So if Melissa and the baby are gone, then that's pretty much it. It's pretty interesting how deadly injury can mean so many things again. I can't uh, I tell you, I cannot believe how a one sentence episode summary in a video on that one sentence has blown up so much. So I feel like there are so many different theories about Veronica. Again, I feel like the number one theory is the fact that the grandchild is dead. Secondly, Veronica is like in a comatose state. Basically, she's in the same position that she threatened Melissa with. I feel like that's number, you know, one of the other biggest um, scenarios of what would happen after the car crash and um, as I said before great time for her mother to show up we get some more Veronica backstory the <laughs> the comment section is insane on this video I swear because a lot of fans have said straight up I will quit watching the show Veronica is dead a small fraction have said Veronica needs to go I'm sick of her character she's way too wicked her and Candace both need to go it's just too much evilness in her. It's just like, it's pretty much gotten old. I've even said it like Veronica needs to be explored more as a character instead of her being the cackling witch of the West. You know, I feel like we need to know more about her backstory, how she became the woman she is now. Where did she go wrong in terms of why did she snap a video? Even though I've done a video on this about a year and a half ago, I feel like this is a great time to re um, revisit the subject of within the haves and the have nots TV show, not like dialogue about years ago, J just in terms of what we've seen of Veronica on TV, where do you think everything went wrong with her character? Where did she snap? I do have a theory on that, but I just feel like when it comes to Veronica's supposed death, I'm going to be honest here. If I had to bet all my money on it right now, before the show even came back, no spoilers. Like at this very moment, if you asked me, is Veronica dead? No, she's not dead. Honestly, I don't think she's dead. Even though I don't agree with fans who say I want to quit watching the show if Veronica's killed off, I feel like Veronica is too big a character to be killed off at this point in the series. Literally. But that's another negative side of her character because of the fact if she dies, a lot of people will turn away from the show. That shows you right there that Tyler, you need to give more investment to your other characters because Veronica is the show for a lot of people. I'm not confirming that. I'm saying that to a lot of people, Veronica is the haves and the have nots. She is the reason they tune in every Tuesday night. Yes, we got some great scenes of Hannah in the um, past uh, few episodes in regards to her reaction to Quincy uh, Jr.'s death. But aside from Cam um, even Candace's reaction to the situation, but even so, her reaction has been met with a lot of backlash from fans for good reason, because you were never a mother to the child. You're lashing out at Hannah, who was literally the only person who really cared about the boy. So Veronica being Veronica, she is the show for a lot of people. She was killed off. That would uh, not be a good move, honestly. But as I suggested, I feel like Veronica needs to be put out of commission for a little while to let the other characters have some breathing room. That way they don't have the looming shadow of Veronica hovering over their every decision because when you really think about it a lot of the negative things that happen to characters happen as a result of veronica you know why being you know raped in jail um the whole situation with <laughs> benny and veronica getting together and then hannah having to look at the fact that you know a cougar came after her son uh catherine realizing that her son got raped as a result of veronica and then she snapped and the list goes on i mean I am i don't even know if I should do this, but like, I guess you could say, remember, I've done top 10 videos. Should I do one called like, you know, top 10 Veronica's top 10 moments where <laughs> we get like the top 10 most evil, devious plans by Veronica Harrington? I'm not going to lie. I think I'm intrigued to make that video, given the fact that how many people love talking about Veronica. I remember, you know, during the whole, when is Candace going to find out about Quincy Jr.? I remember 
at a point a few months ago, all I was making was Candace Young videos. Does Candace have a right to be mad? Why is she lashing out at Hannah? Is she getting what she deserved? Does she love her son? When is she going to find out about Quincy Jr.? Um, wait, is Charles going to pull one over on Candace or will Candace get the upper hand on her? I remember uh, on him. I remember doing so many videos on Candace, but it seems like the people have spoken in up until, you know, January, it would not surprise me if I see myself doing a lot more Veronica videos. I will say this much. It wouldn't surprise me by doing more Veronica videos and, you know, theorizing about a character. It wouldn't surprise me if on this channel we discuss Veronica in depth more than they do on the TV show. So with that being said, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you like me to do more Veronica themed videos about her potential backstory? A uh, top 10 video on Veronica. Uh, not to mention, what do you think, you know, Veronica will do in the next season. Will she be out of commission for a while? Will this allow breathing room for other characters to develop? And let me know in the comment section below, if she is dead, would you really quit watching the show? Really? <laughs> so with that being said, please subscribe and I'll talk